Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting with Pastor Young. Guys, we're going to be reacting to prove that Jesus was not hung on the cross and I will accept Islam tonight. Guys, I like the implication of this. That's why I invited him oh, Guys, let's get straight into this. Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <coughs> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Let Muslim. Me. I prove this to you. The brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says, I want to find the truth. But generally, they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now, if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36 that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the Last Supper. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there Ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum. Same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly? Your scripture. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking. That the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay, people talking. That he had given up the ghost. You know, the spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking. That now he is dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay. People talking. Because Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you English man? He said, yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he is not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadaya varijalaya. He says, Behold my hands and my feet. Inni ana hua. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, ana hua. Husuni wanzuru. Say, Handle me and see. For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. 
So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking, he says, أَيْنْدَكُمْ هَاهُنَا تَعَامْ Have you got here anything to eat? فَنَاوَلُوهُ جُزْءًا مِّنْ سَمَكٍ وَشَيْئًا مِّنْ شَهَدِ عَسَلٍ فَأَخَزَا وَأَكَلَ قُدَّامَهُمْ And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and a honeycomb, and he took it, and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost, he's a spook, he's a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, no, he is. He said, he is not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I am not. You say, he is. Jesus says, I am not God. I am a servant of God. He said, no, he is God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yawm Al-Qiyamah. They said, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. He said, no, he can do everything. I said, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I am the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay. A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said, he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yom al Kiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lai rjiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present Before you say something like, he said he was a man, like, he said he was not a spirit. They believe he was a spirit because he died. And I feel you telling them you are not a spirit. He showed them his hand where the nail was there. Why do you think Jesus would make reference to his hand and his foot? <laughs> that is one. And for him to, he was resurrected. He resurrected Lazarus. I don't know if you guys believe in that, but he resurrected Lazarus. And if we want to be honest with ourselves, this is like logic reason. When we visit Lazarus, there's no way you see Lazarus even eat. Like, <laughs> there's no way. Like, Lazarus was dead for three days. Was he not supposed to be thinking? Like, I, I don't really get what he was trying to prove, though. <laughs> you see? Because he was trying to contradict himself in himself. a way. The first one I, I wanted to ask, okay, do you believe he, he raised Lazarus from the dead? That was my first question. Then do you believe he raised the dead at all? Like, because if you believe, because Lazarus was four days. He said he decided to wait for four days so that because there's a there's a belief in the Jewish religion that if a man dies the first day, the spirit is still within the man. The mm. second day, the spirit is preparing to leave. So from the third day, the spirit he has in fact he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah. Are you getting it? So that was the reason why Jesus said, Okay, he told the disciples, he said, Let me wait until the fourth day. Then when we go to raise Lazarus, everybody will not know that okay, his spirit is already stinking. That was why Martha told him, he said, by night he stinketh. So if he he, 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 he he did that with Lazarus, now coming to himself, you see, the, the first thing that he made that if you want to see the sun and you close your eyes, you will never see the sun. That, that that was a very good parable. But yeah. that was the parable he needed for himself. <laughs> because, so that's the truth. because he blinded his own eyes now and he's trying to see the sun. Now, he, he quoted a, a verse in the scripture that said, Oh, forsook him. Their word all oh, forsook him. They didn't mean everybody, nobody was there when he was being crucified. 
Yeah, people there. Okay. Have you not noticed in villages in those days when they are killing a thief? Is the family not permitted to be there? Will the family run away? No. Everybody will get out of the market square where they are hanging this stuff. Okay. Let's read um, Luke. We also read the Mark. We also read uh, uh, Matthew. There you see what was what, what was said. If we uh, go to Mark, he was talking about how he said uh, Mark uh, 15 verse 40. He said there were there were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary, Mary Madeline, and Mary the mother of James the Less, and and of Joseph and of Salome. Just like that, when you read that, what a lot of people. Now when you go to look, these are people that that, 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 that were there. <laughs> Uh, if you go to Luke 23, verse 35, it said, The people stood watching, and the rulers even sneaked at him. They said, He saved others. Let him save himself if he's the God. Yes. <laughs> others were looking. And now we were, I don't want to go to John because it would be too deep. John was the one to bear record of him. And John said, I was there. You never forget that Jesus told John, if you say, if anybody forsook him, Jesus told John, He said, uh, Son, this is your mother. Mother, this is your son. Yes. So Jesus handed over the mother, Mary, to John. Yes. So if John was not there, they are saying he forsook her. That forsook was talking about, like, they couldn't help, help him. him. Thank God he concluded, he, he agreed that he, 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 he doesn't understand the English completely. That's just it. It's as simple as that. He, okay, for somebody to tell you, this, these are my hands that were punctured. It was mentioned, he didn't quote all the scripture. Yes. He showed them the hands. He said, these are the hands where the name passed through. He said, touch it. And I would say, uh, when he came the first time, uh, uh, the son of Didymus, Thomas, was doubting that how, how will the dead come back to life? Yeah. When he came back, he said, I know you doubted. He said, touch my hand. He said, dip your hands in it. If the, if the hole was not there, why would he tell him to dip his hand there? He said, dip your hand to know that this is it. He said, but I am flesh and blood now. I have resurrected. Yeah. And I, I feel what he was trying to say, we never said, like, I feel there's no Christian that would say Jesus resurrected as a spirit. No. Like, I don't get why he... That's, that's where he's getting it wrong. When he's resurrected, <laughs> believe me, you resurrect as a spirit. His body is no more in the tomb. Yes. That's why I tell you, you see, there's another mistake people don't understand. We have Jesus as God. That is the God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You know, his name from the beginning is not Jesus. Yeah. So, there's, there's a part of Jesus that is man, which is called Jesus the man and Jesus the God. Yeah. So, when he resurrected, he resurrected Jesus the man, not Jesus the God. Jesus the God is ever living. He does not die. Yeah. That's what I said. And, and he cried and gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost, his own spirit, because he can't be killed. Yeah. So, when he gave it up, when it was time for him to raise it up, he, the spirit had to come back to him and he stood up. So whatever happens to the flesh, is still there. For example, let's call it Second Corinthians chapter five verse seventeen. It said, "Behold, all things are becoming when you give your life to Christ." Right? When you give your life to Christ, you are dark. You will become flesh. No. Even okay. if you have tattoos. <laughs> when you have scar on your body, when you give your life to Christ, does anything change in you? No. It's your spirit man that changes. Your flesh remains the same. So that's why even till death. Yeah. The punctured hole are still in, in, in the hands of Jesus. If Jesus yes. comes to you, when, when you are privileged to see him, you see those punctured holes. Like, I, I don't I don't still get the reason why um, Muslims don't feel Jesus died. Like, I feel this is a proven fact. Because like, he closed his eyes and he's trying to see the sun. No, they, there's something <laughs> there's something a guy actually told me. He was like, the, um, he was like, Jesus said his story is like that of Noah, something like that. That Noah was alive for three days in the um, the, the ark. Noah, the, uh, Noah um, or uh, um, Jonah? Yes, Jonah. Yes, that, yeah, that he was. The reference. Yes, he will be in the in the in the heart of the earth for three days. Yes, and if you search for the meaning of the heart of the earth, it means <laughs> um, I think it means death. Actually, then when when I told the Muslim guy that was actually having this discussion with me, he was like, we'll make it call later. But we haven't actually talked since then. But I feel that he when he was trying to tell me that, oh, like, I'm open-minded. I'm I'm open to your suggestion. Like, tell me what you believe in. I'll tell you what I believe in. Then we'll see which Come one is, we'll the, like, the, the, making more the, sense. Yeah. Like, when he said it, is that of 
him. Then when I brought out that scripture, I, I screenshotted the meaning of the heart of the earth. Then like he he was unable to continue <laughs> with it. You see, the end is getting you wrong. He, he, he thought when we die, the spirit just is just distress, it goes away. Yeah. When we die, actually, we are we are we are we are actually alive when we die. Why? We are living the form man, this flesh. And we are yeah. starting another life. So when Jesus said, if he dies, he's going to the heart of the earth. He's also, his spirit is alive. His spirit does not die. When he cast out the devil, does he die? No. How many years have you been? I, I, I destroyed this devil. I destroyed yeah. this devil. Today we are still destroying. His spirit does not die. The death, death, death has meaning. Yeah. Death has different meaning. You know the word death, the first thing that was mentioned in the Bible was in Genesis. God was the one who mentioned the word death. So the introduction of death was, was brought in by God. He said, if they eat that food, that day you will surely die. But when they ate the food, did they die? No, they didn't die. That tells you the meaning of the death that I was talking about was different. Yes, they died in the sense that they Jesus, lost their relationship yes. with God. That was and the Jesus death I was talking about. Life. Yes, that was kind of, doesn't mean they died physically. No. People are taking the death as physical. That's yeah, why they're getting that, it wrong. That's why I feel the Bible is actually more deep than we yeah. believe it. You don't need and so psychology to explain. There's actually a video I watched when a guy was telling Ahmed that that he needs more that you need the Holy Spirit for you to be able to understand, understand the Bible. Yes. And I mean that actually, if I want to be honest, like he didn't really answer that question. You can see it in my channel in my previous video, but he didn't answer that question. He was trying to dive away from the question, but he didn't answer it. Then. But you saw what the man was trying to say. The other guy told him, if you can convince me, I will become a Muslim. But what he gave us, I was he able to do anything. No. He, he had to bring us something else. Go and call the, the biggest uh, 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 men of God. We'll meet him in the square. Yeah. We'll talk and we'll bet in tents. And in case we don't bet. No, he, he didn't say they will bet. He said, he said he, I'll, if you're he able said to convince me, the... I'll give you 10,000. That's only they bet. If you're not able to convince me, I keep my money. Yeah, that's true. Bad. So he's trying to just confuse himself by saying, let's go for another one. Because he yeah. know he can't say anything there. It has only been proven. Do you know, you go and read history. So those that were not Christians. I don't want to be mentioning names because there are some books that they are really too deep. I don't want people to start in except maybe you are going to understand. Just go to some Jewish laws, Jewish books, history. Go and read. There are some a lot of history historians, even no Christians. They wrote about the death of Jesus. Yeah. There's, the, there's one I, 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 I love. He said, we, he said, we heard of a man that did a lot of miracles and a lot of things that he died and resurrected. He's a historian. Just go online, type about histories. You understand? Online has helped us a lot. Go online, you can read histories, you see a lot of things. Yeah. It has been proven. Even the earthquake after the death of Jesus. Like, it, everything was proven. I, I, I still don't believe that. If I don't know if this is even correct or not, but like when Jesus was actually baptized, yeah. when God said, He's my beloved son, He's my beloved son. Yes, like. That was the starting of. I think that was the starting of the journey for me. Like yeah. that was, like the. That's when it was ordained to the ministry. Point, like, yeah. The, God actually, like, he called it. him. But do you know a lot of person said? Do you know some Jewish people see? They say I'm Judas. They said it's not a voice. It's thundering. That they, it, 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 it was a thunder blast. Hmm. People, people and believe and that. And they actually came down from heaven. Yes, as a symbol, a physical do. But the dog was not God. Is a symbol. Yes, you see, yes. People, no. people try to misunderstand and give what they don't just give explanation to what they don't really understand. Dove is never the Holy Spirit. Dove yeah. is not God. When you see dove on the road, if you want to kill it, kill it. It's nothing. Yeah. It's just a symbol. You know why God uses it as a symbol? If you read in Genesis, when God destroyed the world, destroyed the earth rather, when um, uh, Noah sent the dove to go and cross if the water has come down, you know the dove came back. Yeah. Meaning there was no resting place for him, meaning they stayed water. You know, after the last time, after the raven, he sent the raven, later he sent dove again. You know, when he sent the dove, the dove never returned. What does that tell you? The dove has found a yeah. resting place. He has gone to where to, to enjoy himself as a bird, as a free bird. In Genesis, the dove that left. You know, the, the ark represents the presence of God. Yeah. That's why God told Noah, create an ark. Ark always represents the presence of God. So when the dove left the ark, dove left the presence of God. For his, we can also call the presence of God as heaven. The dove left heaven, left the presence of God, and it came in Genesis when Jesus was baptized, and he said, "This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased." So the dove was representing, was a symbol. 
us not the Holy Spirit. It was a symbol to let the because there was a, a prophecy given to only John the Baptist. He said, yeah. "He who you see the dove, the Spirit descending on, is the sent one." So when John the Baptist saw it, he said, "Ah, this is it. I was sent." That's why you know, immediately John the Baptist announced Jesus as the Messiah. His disciples left him. Two disciples left him: Andrew and Peter. You know, they were, they were the disciples of John the Baptist. Immediately they left him. Yeah. And they followed Jesus. Jesus said, Why follow down me? He said, Where did you stay? Jesus said, Come, come and see. That's how they followed Jesus. Immediately, Andrew went to call uh, uh, the others. Matthew, um, what's it called? Um, Nathaniel, Philip, and other, others came. So when we're talking about if Jesus died, if he never died, meaning of our, of our gospel, is a waste. Meaning we should eat and drink and just relax because tomorrow we, we all die. If Jesus did not resurrect, meaning I cannot heal the sick. Yeah. Meaning I can raise the dead. What, what they believe is that like Jesus just ascended to heaven. The death was when he died, he took this body to the third heaven. Yes. He took it to heaven. That's why in the third heaven, man is in charge there. Which man? Jesus the man. That's why you can understand the difference between Jesus the man and Jesus the God. When he was about to crucify, it was Jesus the man that was talking. Okay. Do you know that Jesus said, if it could be your will, Lord, take this cup away from me. Yeah. Can God be afraid? No. That was Jesus the man. The, the man who said, the physical one, talking. But he said, I surrender my will, not my will, but my will. But when he came in the fullness of his power, he said, power began to me in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. 